Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at a program that I uh, recently discovered about a few weeks ago, and this program is uh, up on uh, the screen right now. It's called XPIs, or I think it's pronounced uh, XP is. I'm thinking it's more XPIs, but if it's um, if I'm you know like you know uh, pronouncing that wrong, definitely be sure to you know l let me know down in the comments below. But so I actually came across this program a few weeks ago when I was uh, you know browsing online, and I thought this would be something interesting to show uh, here on the channel. As what this actually is is a program that will uh, sort of modify um, a lot of the things in Windows XP and sort of give it a whole new look, uh, sort of like a, a whole fresh new look, and kind of uh, change out some of uh, the older graphics that uh, this. Uh, group of people that made this software, I guess, didn't really think that it fit into uh, Windows XP's uh, new sort of, I guess, uh, style is what you would call it. So things that Microsoft sort of left the same uh, from the previous version of Windows, which was Windows 2000, you know, they, they kind of left some of the, um, like, older graphics and things like that in uh, some of, uh, like, uh, the setup wizards, for example, and things like that, they you know kind of left that in there. So what this program does is, is essentially changes all that. I believe it changes uh, like the whole theme here, like uh, the whole uh, you know Luna theme. It changes that out and it gives it kind of a new theme as well. So we're gonna be taking a look at this um, as I think it would be something interesting to show. There's also a version for Windows Vista called Vise. Um, which kind of does the same thing for Windows Vista, it changes some of the things that they left from Windows XP uh, in uh, Windows Vista. And there's also an upcoming one for Windows 7 called Seven Eyes, I think that's how you pronounce it. And essentially is the same thing for Windows 7. Um, so yeah, um, but we're gonna be taking a look at XPIs in this video, and we'll be t probably taking a look at Vise in the next video or in some upcoming video in the uh, in the near future. So this program not only works on Windows XP, it also works on Windows Server 2003, both 32 and 64-bit. If you're not aware, there was actually a 64-bit version of uh, Windows XP, but it wasn't really that popular. So this does work on both of those. Um, and it does not change out, as you see right here, it does not uh, replace any files uh, in like you know any system files and obviously doesn't, doesn't change any of uh, your own personal files it just kind of patches them and gives them the the new look that way so um, yeah so all you have to do to get it is, is obviously just go uh, to the download page it is also open source by the way which is very nice so if you were somebody that wanted to build onto this and add more to it you, you could do that uh, with no fear of uh, you know uh, legal trouble or anything like that so uh, anyway, we're just going to want to go to the download page here, and there's actually uh, two different versions. There's the 4.7 version, which is a bit older, and there's the XPI 5 version. And essentially the difference between uh, these two versions is this version is supported on the RTM um, SP1 and SP2 version. Uh, that's what 4.7 uh, works on, and as you see, 5 is not supported. It only works on Service Pack 3. And they are testing it. It is uh, apparently experimental on server 2003 RTM and SP1. So I believe we are, let's see here, we are on service pack 3. So we're going to be getting XPIs 5. So yeah, that's the main difference between these two versions. And that's kind of why they still host the two versions, I'm guessing, is because they haven't optimized this one for uh, XP. RTM service pack 1 and service pack 2 yet. So we are using service pack 3. So we're gonna be getting uh, XPI's version 5. So uh, I believe all we have to do we have to get um, the dotnet framework 2.0 um, I'm just gonna download this just in case I think we may already have it But I'm gonna get that and then we'll download um, XP <laughs> XPI's 5 release 6 and we can download it uh, from uh, SkyDrive, which is I should probably change that uh, to OneDrive because uh, Microsoft changed uh, SkyDrive to OneDrive uh, a while ago. So um, we're going to head in here and we'll download this. Yeah, you can see that this hasn't been updated in a while, I don't think, because th this actually was last updated in 2009, I think. Yeah, you can see right here, 2009. So it is a bit uh, old um, of a you know program, but it still kind of does its job at doing what you would uh, like expect it to do and on the front here like on the front page you see that they have actively been like you, like you know posting news and stuff 
um, but they haven't actually made um, like a big uh, like new uh, release post since 2009. They just actually updated this. Oh, I thought this said 2015. No, it said 2012. So no, they haven't updated this website in a while. So um, yeah, I, I, I could have sworn that said 2015 a while ago. I guess I saw this five instead of so yeah, they haven't updated this website in a few years, but it's still hosted here. So, you know, you can obviously still get it and everything. But I just kind of thought that's funny. It still says download from SkyDrive. But uh, yeah, so we have that. Um, we'll just download uh, .NET Framework 2. Um, so we'll uh, accept. Setup error. Nice. So that must mean we already have it. I'm just going to hope that that does mean we already have it. Um, we'll just run this and see what happens. All right. Welcome to XPI's 5 Release 6 installer. We are using English. Previous installation has made changes. You must restart. I don't know what installation is talking about. I just booted this up, but uh, okay. I guess we'll have to restart. So we'll be uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so we have just uh, restarted the VM because apparently I thought there was a pending installation or something. So uh, we're gonna try this again and see what happens. Hopefully, uh, it's not gonna do that again. What we got here. We'll click next. So I guess it just needed uh, the VM to be rebooted for whatever reason. Um, so we're going to uh, do install XPI's 5 or release 6. And you can actually uh, install it to an i386 folder, which is on an, like, on an ISO file or a CD. So I'm guessing if you wanted to put this onto a Windows XP installation CD, you could do that and modify it that way, which is actually interesting. So um, and you can make your own package or distribution. So now too, you can easily make your, wow, that's actually really cool. Uh, this this program is, is apparently more uh, uh, in-depth than I thought it was. <laughs> um, so it's doing its uh, LZMA decompression and it's actually checking for updates. So we have the latest version and click next. And yeah, see CD image packing, i386 supports both x64, which is 64 bit and 32 bit CDs. Just copy the CD's contents to a folder in a computer during installation, specify the folder you copied. Don't refer to the i386 or mb 64 folder itself. Visual styles wallpapers not installed. Well, that's actually really nice. I didn't think it would do that. Like you can actually patch it to an actual CD. Like if you wanted to not do it on, like if you wanted to have like a CD that was already patched with this and just like put it onto any computer, you can you can do that, which is really nice. And here's all the, the people that, that, um, that I guess made this. Um, I think these are, uh, yeah, this is the Anolis framework or Anolis framework. That's the uh, base kind of uh, source code that they use. So this is the guy that made that. Um, and yeah, that's all. These are all the people here. We have uh, the package installer readme. So we're just going to uh, click next and we can select our theming options. So we have a bunch of different options here. So uh, we got, uh, as I was saying before, it makes it look uh, more like a media center. You can change it to dark side. We can do uh, embedded, which is actually, that's just like uh, Windows Embedded uh, POS Ready 2009. So if you saw that video, uh, yeah, we can make it look like that. Uh, Luna Element and uh, XPI is 3.2. So I'm going to actually go with uh, the dark side one because that looks kind of, you know, kind of cool. Um, and uh, for the bitmaps, that's these things in here. Obviously, I'm going to change. I'm going to leave that as um, the dark side because it kind of matches. Um, welcome screen. We can preview. You know, that's that's this welcome screen. We can change that. Um, wow, this is really uh, more. Uh, you know, in, in like this is more customization than I thought it was. <laughs> um, I, I thought it was just going to like not let you choose all all these options, but you can choose. This is what uh, the media center. Uh, thing looks like uh, we can do Luna elements Luna element black um, we're gonna actually do uh, Luna element black because I think that looks kind of nice and the wallpaper so we can take this off um, we'll change this to let's just leave it at that and then we'll do or we can do uh, embedded also <laughs> this is really cool and then visual style we can change the visual style as well and advanced we even have more options Oh, wow. 
I just went to this uh, like uh, advance button here. We can actually just check all of these, which I guess will uh, install everything. So we're just gonna do that because then we can kind of change through all the options if we wanted to. So kind of yeah. So this will kind of let us install everything, which is actually really nice. And so then we can kind of change it our, ourselves. And I think I've actually seen this program in use in some video before. I just didn't know it was this program, but. Uh, yeah, so we'll just do that. We can uh, install to this computer. We can create an a uninstallation backup directory, which actually will, I guess, um, just let you uh, easily uh, uninstall the whole package, which is nice. Or we can install to a Windows setup CD. We have some uh, advanced options here as well. We can create a system restore point. We're not going to do that, and we'll. Just turn that off as well because we don't. This is a, a VM, obviously. I don't really care about that. We're just gonna take more time to create a system restore point. So, um, and it's gonna do uh, all of its patching, and we should be good. So, I'm just going to uh, let this finish up here. I'll pause the video and I'll be back once it is finished. All right, so we have just uh, finished up the XPI's uh, installation here. You can see that it just uh changed uh, the background wallpaper but it, it didn't actually change it to the black one that i think i said it to change it to but i think maybe because i went to that custom mode it just ch you know chose this one but um so it's asking us to do uh, a system restart here so we're just going to do that and it's going to uh, restart you'll see that it hasn't changed uh, the login screen yet but uh hopefully it'll do that uh, on the reboot so yeah, I'm just going to let it finish doing that. And actually, you can see right here, it's changed uh, the Windows XP boot screen to that new XPI's one, which looks uh, pretty nice, actually. There's no lot like, you know, like, you know graphics or anything, but it's just uh, a like a blue Windows XP logo, and, you know, it just kind of looks pretty nice. And here we have uh, that new XP wallpaper, or, or not wallpaper, but the login screen. Um, kind of uh, reminds me of some of the early Windows Longhorn builds. I think they had something similar to this. So it already looks more like Windows XP Media Center edition to me um, with this theme. Yeah, this is actually the same theme uh, from Windows XP Media Center edition. Um, so they just kind of took that, which is, you know, very nice because I actually do like this theme. And as we go into uh, some of the, you know, programs, you'll see that yeah, it is going to you know run slow as it was saying because it's rebuilding that icon cache, but you'll see that it's changed. Uh, I think the the uh, mouse cursor has changed. You can kind of see that here. Um, these icons are they still look a little bit old, but uh, you know that's th this should change shortly. What I might have to do is you know pause the video and then I might uh, you know wait thirty minutes or so and then come back and you know, uh, continue with the video. And that's actually what I'm probably gonna do. So, you know, I'm just gonna pause the video here, let this run and, you know, uh, rebuild its, its uh, icon cache. And then I'll come back and we'll take a look at the video. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back. And um, it's actually been about um, over a day since I last uh, took a look at uh, the virtual machine here. So I think it's had enough time to uh, generate all of uh, the icons or whatever it was um, doing previously so of course you guys aren't going to notice um, any time difference because of the magic of uh, you know uh, video editing obviously but um, so let's, let's just kind of start taking a look at some of the new things that um, XPI's brings to Windows XP now you'll notice that um, they've changed uh, the background wallpaper to the one uh, from Windows Media Center edition and they've actually changed the uh, entire theme as I think I've, I've mentioned before this is the same um, theme I think it's uh, the Royale theme or the Royal theme I'm not sure how you pronounce it but it's from uh, Windows Media Center edition and this was like a uh, exclusive theme for that version of Windows and, they, and it you know, kind of brings that to Windows XP which is you know pretty nice um, we can go in uh, to the Windows control panel. You can see that not a lot of these icons have changed here, but we do have uh, some things on the side, uh, like these uh, side panels look a little bit different. If we go into system, um, you can see that we kind of have, uh, like it looks a little bit different here. We have uh, a new uh, kind of logo, but it's looking kind of weird. I don't, I don't know why there's all this black, like uh, like this big black box around it, but 
um, and it says XPIs right here so I guess they put their name right where it says uh, manufactured and uh, supported by I guess they kind of modify that so I'm not sure if this is because we're in a virtual machine or if this is what it actually does but that's you know kind of interesting um, we'll go to the uh, display options and this is kind of where we can see uh, all the different themes that it has we can go over to uh, appearance and you see we now have a few different like we don't have um, I think Windows XP normally only has three themes to choose from. Um, you can choose um, from uh, the default Luna Blue, Olive Green, and um, Silver. I'm not sure if they have an adjective to describe Silver, but that's okay. Um, so you see that we have um, those those themes here. So we can go back uh, to, to a Windows XP style. This is the, the theme that everybody's used to. And we can do, um, or the, this is what I was talking about. We, we can do a blue, um, all, or, yeah, blue, olive green, or silver. This is what everybody is used to with Windows XP. I don't know why it's lagging so much. Um, or we can go to uh, Windows Embedded style, which is what well, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 has. We can go uh, to the Luna style, which I guess this is, I think this is what we're using right now. I don't know why exactly. I mean, Luna is the Windows XP theme. I'm guessing these are just different variations of Luna that they have created. Um, because this is the theme that we're currently using, I believe. Yeah, this is a theme that we're currently using. This is the one that's uh, from Windows um, uh, Media Center Edition. And yeah, so you had both of these. But we're just actually going to go to the Zoom style because I, I think this would be kind of uh, interesting to take a look at. I don't know why it's lagging so much. I said Zoom style. And we can go to uh, default. So we'll apply this. And there we go. So now this, you know, kind of changes. I'm, I'm not sure where if this Zoom style was a uh, official theme, but it kind of uh, reminds me of some of the early uh, Longhorn builds, as I think I mentioned um, with the lock screen as well. All right, wait, hang on just a second. I just accidentally called the Windows XP login screen the lock screen. <laughs> so Apparently Microsoft has done a pretty good job at convincing everybody that PCs work more like phones now. Um, but yeah, that was a not really a big mistake, but I just kind of noticed that while I was editing. I was like, wow, I actually just managed to do that and didn't even notice anything. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of, you know, kind of an interesting editor's note. But anyway, back to the video. Yeah, so that is um, kind of uh, the new themes. We have a few different themes to choose from, and it kind of makes, um, like, you can, you know, if, if you get bored of this theme, you have more than, you know, three colors, obviously, which is kind of nice. Um, we can actually go uh, to the new login screen, which this you could choose. I think you might be able to still change it, but if you uh, remember back um, in uh, that uh, uh, setup program, you could choose um, a theme to, uh, to install, but I just chose to install all of them and it chose this login screen. Um, the Windows XP one obviously looks a little bit different. This one looks very similar, but it kind of looks a more, uh, I guess, uh, silvery kind of, and it's got um, a uh, darker blue palette right here. And it kind of reminds me again of some of the early Windows Vista betas where they kind of did the same thing, except there was like a, a, a clock up here, I think. I, I actually think this was the exact same color they use in uh, some of the early Vista betas, which is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that. I'm going to have to change this wallpaper. This is really bothering me how pixelated it is. <laughs> let's just uh, change it back to Bliss. All right, that looks very nice. Um, so let's actually go um, into the screensaver tab now. This is actually uh, a new uh, screensaver that XPI installs on the system that I kind of noticed, and it kind of has... The, the Windows XP logo at the bottom right, which kind of fades and moves around the corner of the screen. There's this like big uh, flying Windows logo that changes color. So uh, kind of nice. Um, I think, I don't know if we have a few, oh, we have the XPI's logo, which I think is going to do the same thing as uh, the Windows XP logo. We're just kind of, you know, we'll move around the screen. Um, yeah, so, you know, kind of like that. Um... We have Windows XP, which is the same thing. Starfield, I think that the majority of these, yeah, this is, I, I think it just added like these three or these two new uh, screensavers. So uh, that's, that is very nice. Uh, appearance where you took a look at, settings. Um, 
that looks pretty much the same. So that's kind of a brief little demo of the themes and the themes is, is really like the major thing or not really the major thing, but I guess one of the major things that they changed um, with XPIs. You see that I have um, applied this uh, new Luna theme here, which I thought before was, was going to be just um, very similar to the, uh, the XP Luna theme. But as you can see here, they actually changed um, you know, uh, the whole look of, uh, of everything, really. I'm not sure if this is a theme that uh, Microsoft developed, uh, like for Windows Longhorn or, or like, you know, early Longhorn builds, um, or, if this, or if this was something that the XPI's team, you know, uh, created themselves. But it actually um, takes the word start um, off of uh, the start menu here. And it actually uh, kind of creates a more uh, minimalized uh, start menu. And it kind of takes off the words uh, from all of the uh, right hand buttons here, which actually kind of makes it look more, uh, you know, sleek and I guess thin, which looks very nice. Um, so yeah, um, that is that, that is kind of that. Um, what's this tax or task switch XP program? I think this is something it was talking about. Um, I'm not sure what is that the oh that's when you press alt tab there's a new interface here that's actually really interesting i did not know that it uh, included this i was almost going to uh you know go uh you know uh, completely uh, skip over that but yeah um so it, it uh, includes um a new um sort of interface when you press alt tab it does this nice little uh, interface here where you can see all of your you know um like what's running in like a new sort of interface, which looks really nice actually. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the uh, new Luna theme, and I'm not really really gonna go through all these themes. You guys can obviously go through them, you know, yourselves if you want to. But you know, you can see, um, you know, we have uh, obviously you know different options here. But you know, just you know, basic looks uh, really nice with the themes. Um, I'll just uh, apply that, and and yeah, so. Um, but you know the, the theme isn't the only thing that's changed. If we actually go to the um, to the XPI's website here, um, you can see this is um, a sort of uh, list of things that they've changed. Um, this isn't everything, as I don't think it shows um, the uh, uh, that task switch XP program, but it shows kind of um, what they've changed with the programs and with um, these uh, setup wizards that I was kind of talking about earlier. Um, the one thing I can't get to work is um, the performance and clock, and I think this might be that I have to use a certain theme. Let me actually go back to, because you see if I go, like, this is what the uh, clock is supposed to look like. And if I go to this, uh, to, to the clock here, you see it just looks kind of the same. So I think I might have to be to change the theme to something else, maybe, uh, and no, that, that, that still doesn't change it, maybe I have to reopen it maybe? Nope, it still doesn't change it. It still looks the same. Um, kind of odd is it apparently is supposed to look like this, but that's that, that's kind of the one thing I'm thinking this might be because I'm just guessing it might be because it's inside a, of a virtual machine. That's really the only thing I can guess, but that's that really doesn't seem like a like a reason why it wouldn't work. But if we go over to um, the the uh, time zone, you see there's um, a new and improved time zone map. This looked a, li a, a little bit different, and um, we have uh, a new uh, sort of, I guess, uh, checkbox graphic, and, and also uh, the mouse cursor looks um, a little bit different. If you can see this, I, I notice sometimes um, in my videos when I edit them with Camtasia, the mouse cursor just disappears for some reason, which is kind of annoying, and I've been trying to figure out how to fix that. But I hopefully this will show up so you can see what the mouse cursor looks like. But it looks, you know, a little bit different. XPI's uh, desktop. This is kind of what uh, the de um, the desktop is supposed to look like. And something else that doesn't show for me is the new icons. The icons still kind of look, um, so you see this is what, um, let me just, oh look, this is a, a nice uh, new looking uh, start menu with that new theme that I changed to. So yeah, I'm sort of, uh, you know, nice little uh, uh, surprises in each of the themes as it has, you know, nice little things like the new start menu and things like that. Um, but if I pin Windows Media Player to the desktop, you'll see that, you know, this is how it's supposed to look with this, um, you know, like green arrow kind of going in. It still has the same like boxy one. And I can't really, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how you change um, the size of icons in Windows XP and that might be a, a display thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how you change the size of the icons on the, on the desktop. It's been a while since I've used Windows XP, but um, 
yeah but this is how they're supposed to look apparently if you have larger icons and we have this is um what the new like add hardware wizards um and you know other wizards like that would look like and to show you that i can just go into the windows control panel again a nice um you know sort of interface on the side here with this different theme um and we can go to the uh, add hardware and it looks like this and the old add hardware wizard i can actually just pull up an image right here so yeah, this right here is an image of what uh, the old Add Hardware Wizard looks like. Um, I would just um, edit it into the video, which I might do, but I just figured, you know, why not, uh, you know, pull it up here so you know, I can kind of give you um, a uh, easy comparison. But yeah, this is what um, the old one looks like. You know, kind of has um, a non Windows XP style graphic. Looks more like uh, Windows 2000. And what Windows X or what XPIs does is you know kind of changes that out to this new looking graphic, which looks really nice. Um, and it does this not only on the ad hardware wizard, but also if we go back to the website here, they have a, um, a, a page on here uh, called the wizards. And, and it does this to the ad hardware wizard, um, the uh, portable media devices where when you like plug something in or you want to play something or like a, a file, it'll uh, come up with this thing. It can't find um, a, a compatible device to play it. It does it with uh, the, the uh, network setup wizard and the new connection wizard. So I can probably show you one of those, um, the uh, network connections. You can create a new connection. You can see it kind of looks like this. And I'll again give you a, a look at what the old one looks like. So again, here's what the old one looks like and here's what the new one looks like in XPI. So again, a sort of Windows 2000 style graphic. And here we have the new one. Now I do like how the um, the themes like change um, like the, the uh, side panels of uh, Windows um, of Windows Explorer and the Windows Control Panel. Um, I've been noticing as I change through all the themes that it kind of has a, a different effect on um, you know each of these, which is you know very nice. Um, I I do kind of like I don't know what my favorite one is, but I just I just feel like going in you know let's just change it to um, a different one. Um, let's do uh, Luna Royale. We'll hit apply and we'll see what this one does. This is kind of a, a mixture between the Luna and the Royale theme, I'm guessing. And we'll change it to this. So now we have um, a sort of... Um, th this actually kind of looks like uh, the Windows Vista style start menu. And we kind of have um, a, a new silver style thing on the on, on the right here. So yeah, that's what I, I, I kind of like. I, I know I'm kind of going back and forth between everything, but I just really, I just really like how this program works. It's just really cool. Um, I, I think that if I ever get um, oh, yeah, a Windows XP computer just to kind of have around, I'm probably going to have this, um, th this uh, program on it because I just really like it. Now they've also improved uh, some of the animations in Windows XP. They've improved um, the uh, copying animation where you know when you copy a file from one place to another um, when you download something using um, Internet Explorer as if you you know use something like Firefox like I'm using here it, it'll have um, its own downloader so you won't see this and when you uh, move something to the recycle bin it'll have a new animation so I'll just kind of show you what that looks like so we'll go uh, into my computer and let's say we want to copy the Windows folder to the desktop. Obviously, I'm not going to actually go through with this um, copy operation, but um, I'll just kind of show you what I mean. So you see kind of it, it goes from this folder here, and it has um, these, you know, uh, folder and files come out, and they go to the new folder. So, you know, very nice. I'm just going to cancel it because obviously I don't want to copy the whole Windows folder to the desktop. Um, and we'll just uh, delete that. And, yeah. And the reason why I chose the Windows folder is because obviously it's a large folder, so there's a bunch of files in there, so you can actually see uh, what the animation looks like. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, the uh, animations. We have new stuff, which these are some of the new icons. Um, old stuff updated again. This is kind of what I was talking about, where it's changed um, some of uh, like the, the uh, small little icons, uh, like the folder options menu. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. Um, uh, internet properties again same thing keyboard properties this is what I was mentioning with uh, the time and date properties how it has this old map here for the time zone and if you go into the date and time now it's got this you know new one right here which looks pretty nice um, we got uh, mouse properties and uh, administrative tools you know kind of changed everything which you know very nice uh, some of the other things they've changed, they've changed um, what's the uh, um, About Windows dialog box or the Winver program. So if we just run uh, Winver, 
this now looks a little bit different. I'll edit in an image. I'll, I'll just you know edit in this time of what uh, the older Windows XP Winver program looks like, and you know they they kind of changed and gave it uh, this like new looking graphic up here with this nice little Windows flag in the background. Um, we go into uh, I think uh, remote desktop has changed, so that's MSTSC. Um, this actually looks a little bit different. This is actually what it looks like. So you see, this is what it says um, that uh, re remote desktop is supposed to look like, but it, it looks like this. They they actually have changed it from, I, I guess, what it used to look like. I guess that this is an you know, older version screenshot, and I actually kind of uh, like this. And I can I, I I can actually show you on my host computer. Um, this version of uh, remote desktop has not changed since like Windows 7. I mean, this is Windows 10, and we still have uh, some of uh, the arrow elements here. You can see we still have some of uh, the old icons for the folders and things like that, and some of um, you know like the buttons and things like that. Like this is um, kind of uh, like an arrow button. Um, yeah, so this hasn't changed since Windows 7. I actually kind of like how how, how uh, this looks though. Um, so yeah, that's the new um uh, the windows remote desktop program um we also have paint here I'll show you what that looks like ms paint um looks a little bit different and we actually have uh, some new um, icons for all the tools here which is kind of nice system properties i already showed you a uh, device manager um and um, internet properties which we took uh, which we took a look at in a different screenshot um, we have uh, wizards we took a look at, uh, the boot screen, the logon screen, looks like this, again, I think I already showed you that, and the wallpapers, there's a bunch of new wallpapers. Um, there's Bliss, which we're already using, and we'll actually go, I, I, I don't think I've actually taken a look at all the wallpapers. Um, we have, uh, yeah, Bliss Dream, yeah, so it's you know, wallpapers like this, I don't know why it's always center, we want it stretch. So, this is a nice new wallpaper. This is this one. This actually looks really nice, actually. Um, it's like the same uh, as the Bliss one, just like with a different filter over it, I'm guessing. Um, Bliss HD, which I actually have this wallpaper on my host computer um, as a cycle through. It's actually an, an HD version of the, uh, of the classic Bliss wallpaper, just to kind of show you the difference. Um, we have Bliss Type. Which looks like that. Bliss or blue clouds. I think or was or I don't know if this was a new one. Or I, I guess it was. And then we have this one. So yeah, that's uh the new wallpapers. And we have it, it talks about um all of uh the new visual styles. So you can actually see here um uh, embedded uh Royale, Royale Neuer or Neuer or Noy, however you say that. Um, and Zoom. These are all uh, official Microsoft themes, as you can see. And the XPI's team, I guess, on their own have uh, come up with uh, the Luna Element, Luna Royale, Luna Royale Black, uh, Royale Light, and Royale Light Black. So, yeah, and you know, it talks about that. And which we've went through all the themes. Obviously, you can go through the rest of the themes on your own if you want to. And I think that is just about going to wrap it up for my brief little demo. And I, I know I say brief, and the video has probably been about you know 30 minutes long now. Um, but yeah, my uh, brief little demo of XPIs, which is a, a again a visual GUI enhancer for Windows XP. Um, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, um, uh, you know, primarily the one on Vise. If you guys want to see that, which again, Vise is kind of the same program for Windows Vista. If you guys want to see that, and again, more videos like this in the future, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below, you know, telling me uh, what you guys think of this. And I just would like to thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your uh, amazing support of the channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.